Hello, my friends. I am slow. Hello, my friends. I just got back from my trip. So I'm starting another vlog a few days of my life. So let me just get you up to speed here in case you missed my last video because it had some important context for this video. Basically, I have crowns on my front teeth and one of my OG tooths, teeth, teeths, one of my OG teeth cracked off eating a bagel a couple weeks ago, taking the crown with it and I left a hole in my mouth. Imagine me coming up to you at the bar. How are you doing? Even though I still look cute, I gotta get it fixed and I need a dental implant and this video continues that process among other fun things happening in my life, living alone in my 30s in New York City. In about 45 minutes, I have to leave the house to see my friend Skylar, who I haven't seen in months. And we're gonna go to the Upper West Side. Later on, I have a really intense dental appointment. I'm getting a dental implant and a skin a bone graft. I'm hungry and thirsty. I have to shower. I have to pay rent as well. Let's get on this. I gotta stop talking. We just gotta get ready. Let's get in the shower. I'm on the queue to enter the New York Roadrunners website because today's the day that the registration opens for nine plus one races between April and August, I think. And I'm this far in the queue. You can't see that. I'm this far. I've been in the queue for almost an hour now. I just know it's gonna go through when I'm in the shower. I might have to stop and sign up for my races when I'm in the shower. <laughs> so basically, if you didn't know, in order to get guaranteed entry into the marathon for 2025, I have to do nine races and volunteer one time this year in 2024 to qualify for next year. So this is what I did when I ran the marathon in 2023. In 2022, I did the nine plus one program, but it's becoming increasingly more and more competitive. Now it's like less than a 10% chance that you'll get through via lottery and I don't want to risk it. So I'm just going to sign up and you know, it's good to do some races. So um, I'm excited about that, but I just don't want them all to sell out then you're screwed for next year unless you want to run for a charity, which I could definitely do. For a while there, I had no idea what I wanted from 2024, but in the last few days alone, the sun has been out in New York City and not to be dramatic, but I feel like a brand new person because of it. I feel clear headed and more re-energized, honestly, about my future. Is anyone else feeling their seasonal depression fade out a little bit? I'm just trying to clear the lens. <laughs> okay. We're this close now. This is the longest queue I've ever waited in for New York Red Runners. That's crazy. Let's get some clothes. So I'm only halfway through the queue on my phone, but I guess it'll just go through when I um, when I'm on my way, hopefully. And then I can sign up for these races because it's kind of like now or never. What a fun day. <laughs> I think I have to tell you later because I'm a little bit late to meet my friend. But I'll fill you in, I promise. streets in New York with a wireless mic. I feel like I'm about to walk up to somebody and ask them what their favorite song is or how much they make or what they do <laughs> for their job. Just met up with Skylar. He's so lovely. He is a friend I'm going to have for life. We realized that we graduated college together 10 years ago this year, so maybe there'll be a reunion. I don't know. I luckily was able to miss my high school reunion because it was 2020. No complaints about that. But anyways, I'm now heading to a dentist appointment, which doesn't start until seven. Um, oh, okay. So funny story. I actually ended up getting through the New York Roadrunner login queue right as I was going underground on the train, like the moment. And I thought I lost my place in the queue, but I did not. So then I actually got off the train to sign up for all the races I wanted. And then once I got all the races I wanted, then I hopped back on the train and I was five minutes late. <laughs> I thought that was crazy. It took me two and a half hours to get through the queue. That's crazy. But anyway, we did it.
it's amazing how much something like that can just wear you out even though you're just laying there i have this like pain that's going up the side of my face technically it was a surgery so no wonder i'm feeling kind of blah the novocaine's pretty much worn off by now oh my god that's crazy I'm not gonna touch it, but you can kind of see which tooth it is. I feel like we're at the dentist right now. With this light, it's like, you name a dental procedure, and I've had it happen now. I'm really grateful to be able to do this because, I mean, it's my front tooth. This is a temporary tooth, actually. No biting into things, anything I would have to chew, like, bite into. Like, huh? I can't do it. I have to chop it up. I literally, today, at dinner, I was, I, <laughs> I had a fork and a knife eating a taco. I'm pretty sure there's gotta be someone in that restaurant who saw me and was like, what is this white girl doing? That's gonna be my life for the next four months. This is gonna be a journey we're gonna be on apparently. It's my dental journey. I wonder if I'll beep at TSA now. Cause I got the metal in my tooth. That'd be kinda cool. Uh, what time is it? It's 10.20. Tomorrow morning, it's very exciting. I'm very excited about this. I'm meeting up with another fellow creator in my agency. We're signed to the same management company. Maybe you've heard of her, you probably have. Her name's Mahua. Hopefully this will be okay. <laughs> my name. Ugh, the tooth. The tooth. The tooth has not stopped bleeding. <laughs> Apparently I drooled in my sleep and there's like little blood spots on my pillow. And I've never had that happen. Anyways, I'm really excited to see Mahua. It's nine o'clock now. I have to be there at 10. I'm gonna put on my makeup and get out the door. It's raining, it's kind of gloomy outside. I just realized I have five minutes until I have to go. shirts because I think a turtleneck was just too much and I forgot I had this coat that my sister got me for Christmas and this is super warm so I think this is more appropriate yeah wow ah! cute okay now for real let's go I have to say that overall the dental implant procedure was virtually painless and they did a great job with it 7 p.m. is a weird time to go in for a dentist appointment but they were super nice to squeeze me in last minute so that's why it was so late so rainy. I just wanted to make sure you knew this actually went well since I just showed you a picture of my bloody tooth But that's you know to be expected so just want to clear that up But anyways here we are in Long Island City, Queens I've only been here a handful of times so it was nice to explore a little bit I really like this coffee shop it had great vibes for a rainy day Everybody the beautiful Mahua What's up? <laughs> so then if we were to be like ASMR like <laughs> <laughs> Yeah you can like be in the corner and just be like <laughs> All right, back from coffee. That was <laughs> so fun. Hold on, I'm trying to get something out of the microwave and I, I can't do it one hand, Dad. Yeah, so we were there for three hours, more than three hours, just chatting and chatting and chatting and I feel like we just barely scratched the surface and it was really, really fun. Um, as an introvert, that's a gift. We got some lentil soup from Trader Joe's and I'm gonna spend the rest of the day editing a video that's coming out hopefully tomorrow. So that's gonna be the rest of my day. But tomorrow I have two social plans. One in the Upper East Side, another one with Julie. Julie and I are gonna go out tomorrow night. Good morning. The last time I saw you, which was like 2 p.m. yesterday, I have been editing from 2 p.m. until 4 a.m. is when I closed my laptop and I'm still not done. But I didn't, I needed more time with the thumbnail and the title and like the description box and stuff. So. I'm deciding to put it out tomorrow instead. Today's Saturday, by the way, just to give me more time today because today I have two social plans. One which I have to leave for in six minutes. I'm meeting a friend from my old job. We're gonna meet for coffee. I had a package sent to the office for some reason and so it's just like, she was very nice and kept it at her house. So I'm gonna go to that area. I have to close the camera now, so I'm not late.
I'm trying to figure out where to even begin to start catching you up. Like last I saw you, I was out on the Saturday night, which was much needed for both me and Julie. We went dancing at this place called Cafe Bellarica, I think that's how you say it, and it's in Greenpoint. Um, always really good vibes. They have like a bar on top and then a dance floor on the bottom. To update you on the tooth, it's looking good. I went back to my dentist this morning just to make sure it was healing properly. We're looking good on that front so far. Well, right now, holy sh the apartment's a little messy, so I'm gonna spend a few hours to clean it, and then after that, I'm cutting this video and I'm gonna go set up all of the new stuff for my apartment tour. There's a new rug, oh my gosh, there's chairs, some decor, lamps, a lot of like little cutesy things that are gonna make this space exactly what I was hoping it would be. So I know I promised you when I moved in here that we would do some sort of virtual housewarming, so stay tuned for the apartment tour because I'll kind of, I'll be marrying that with a community post on what days and times might work best for people because I know last time I did a live it was uh, well, it didn't work for the Australian folks. I want to make sure this is at a time where it's possible for as many time zones as possible. Also, I spent a lot of today figuring out my taxes. I did find uh, like a company that they specialize in creators, so which I think is exactly what I want so you can get maximum deductions, if that's even the right way to say that, I don't know. But I'm loving them so far and they're really helping me get my finances together. But if I have a good experience, I'll tell you more about it if you're interested. But I'm gonna hold on that for now since I'm still getting onboarded and started. But it feels like I'm really actually getting my together. I'm always the one to put off things that I really do need to do, but if they're not urgent, I don't want to spend money on it. And for a lot of that in my life, it's been finances and my health. So we're focusing on dental health right now, but after this is done, I have to make so many appointments. Like I, that's why I really need a part-time job that offers me insurance. Yeah, it's, it's easier to manage insurance through an employer and I'd rather do that than try and do like marketplace, whatever, because that's almost not worth it. The deductibles are astronomical. Anyways, we don't have to get into that because that's boring. Um, we're gonna get into cleaning, which is slightly less boring. Dude, that song, ridiculous. A couple videos back, I asked if anyone had any songs on repeat lately that they were just loving. So I put all the songs people left in the comments into a Spotify playlist, which you can find in the description box. I've also included some of my current favorite songs on repeat right now too. I kid you not, when you find a new song that hits just right, it can shift your entire energy. The dopamine, so much dopamine. Like I'm not even kidding. It feels like giving yourself a sunny day. From my experience, I think it can really help shift energy from one state to another. Does anyone else ever find themselves getting stuck in negative thought loops like over days or weeks? Not because you want to obviously, but because that's the habit that your brain is in. There is no feeling like finding a new song that makes me feel alive. And that always helps me move forward into a new wavelength for some reason. If anyone knows the legitimate science behind it, please leave it in the comments because I'm super interested about it. But also if you want to add any songs to this playlist that you think might inspire others please leave them in the comments and i'll do my best to add them all to the playlist but i probably will stop adding them after a certain point because i don't know if i'll be able to keep up but just a heads up okay now that that motivational speech is over it's time to turn on some music that has a bit more of a vibe let's go hey nowadays the pain follow me deal with trauma privately i don't want to be a burden i handle things defiantly spent a decade searching for a higher power god in me figured out that faith is not up there that it's inside of me right. act with execution what's a plan with zero action faced with bad habits knowing this a magnet to my imbalance i'm somewhere between confidence and arrogance the middle ground is treacherous i work on getting out of it pops is looking down i feel him every time the sun shine back to being unsigned i only got my bloodline with me going forward smoking cookie till we Heard you taking shots, we pulled up on them, they was gunshot 2 p.m. in Rome, we at the chapel eating sun-dried Tomatoes and a plum wine, life been like a movie, y'all know how long the run time Hope it's an extended cut, but when I die, I load my consciousness onto a thumb drive And upload it to the masses when I pass, all my sets is holographic Life's as real as you imagine It's been hours, this vacuum doesn't work anymore I thoroughly cleaned this out and it just pushes around the dirt instead of uh, sucking it up. Um, it taken every inch of me not to buy a Dyson, but I can't, I can't pull the trigger on that right now. The Dyson vacuum, not the hair wrap. Great, so I finished a load of laundry, so I'm gonna hang that up. I'm excited. I have all of this stuff I have to set up. Well, I'm really excited to see how it works, especially that new rug. My apartment is not clean by any means, but it's tidy. 
enough. At least I can walk around in it. I feel like this vlog has been a little bit all over the place, but this is truly how my life really is. This vlog is probably a more accurate depiction of my actual life than any other vlogs. <laughs> Because it's just like, oh yeah, I jump from this thing to this thing. I forget to film for all this amount of time. I pick it up doing this errand. Like, it's all crazy. This was more how it actually goes when I don't have a plan, but I just want to film. Sometimes I just don't know what I'm making until I'm done with it. I'm finally going to close out this video. What a few couple days. <laughs> busy month ahead so if you like this video make sure to give it a thumbs up before you go comment to say hi because i want to say hi back if you haven't already consider subscribing to my channel the engagement really helps you to recognize my channel and push it out to other amazing people like yourself i'll see you in my next video woohoo what a fun one okay see you later bye